All right, guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews, coming back at you with another review. We got another Olight to go over. This one's a little bigger than the, the rest. This is the Olight, and this one specifically, the Seeker 2 Pro. So, this is a little bit bigger than any of the lights we've reviewed so far. Uh, the biggest one that we've reviewed, uh, it's a toss-up. S2R2 or the M1, M1T Raider Plus. Uh, so let me grab both of those just to show you a comparison here. Um, so the S2, here's the Seeker 2. Here's the S2R2. So about a head's width, bigger, definitely bigger round. This one, however, as you can see, has three individual LEDs in it where the Baton series only has one. And there's your comparison on the bottom. The only other thing that comes close to it lengthwise is the M1T Raider. And it's still a little shorter. So let's get into the, the specs on the Seeker 2 Pro from Olight. Uh, so yet again, another IPX8 light from Olight. Uh, your weight on this one, however, is going to be 6.98 ounces. So it's a little heavier. Uh, almost double the S2R2 baton. Overall length is going to be 5.04 inches. And the battery on this one is a heck of a lot better or bigger. So here we have the Olight 3.6 volt 5000 milliamp hour 21700. And there's the information for you. So this is going to be another high drain battery. Get this put back in the light here. So let's go over the different modes here. This one's kind of cool. So it is activated by a side switch, just like the previous lights. You press the switch. The only difference is if you notice, there's a lot more lights on this one on the, around the button. So this side here, if you look real close, little battery symbol, this is going to be your battery power. Let me light those back up. And this side is going to be your mode level. So right now we're on Moonlight. Moonlight for this light is five lumens and it'll run for 12 days. Now when I step up to mode two, you'll see that the second light comes on. This is gonna be 50 lumens, it'll run for 52 hours. Next step is 300 lumens. We're looking at nine and a half hours. And then we're gonna go up to, okay. <laughs> All right, so the last mode is going to be 1,200 lumens. There we go. That'll run for 110 minutes. Step down to 600 lumens for 30 minutes. And then if you double tap the tail or the side switch, you're going to go up to 3,200 lumens. Now, 3,200 lumens is going to run for two minutes. Step down to 600 for 150 minutes on a, on a fully charged battery. Don't know what happened there. There's the moonlight again, either way. Moonlight, 50, 300, 1200, and then the 3200 lumens. Uh, now this one does come with a strobe mode. That strobe mode is gonna be the full 3200 lumens, so it is very bright. Um, like I said, with the three LEDs on this thing, even just the moonlight is bright. Uh, your light intensity is going to be 15,600 candela. Your beam distance is 250 meters or 820 feet. So double, uh, pretty much double that of the S2R2 baton. Uh, and then you have the, the nice indicator light. So as the battery decreases, obviously, the lights on this side will drop down until you hit that last one. This is magnetic rechargeable, just like the S2R2 s1 r2 and the Pyramid mini so it does take the standard mcc one amp charger now this one actually comes with another attachment it's an l dock and i'll put a picture on the screen here somewhere the l dock what it looks like mine are mounted right now but you just clip this just magnets to the dock and the charger actually sits on top of the dock and there's a pass through for it um, now the light also comes with when you, when you get one, it also comes with a little belt holster so that you can keep the light 
safe if you're out hunting. You have a belt loop. It does have a snap on it. So if you want to try to run it through Molly, it's a little small, but you can. And then a little ring up, plastic ring up here if you want to carabiner it to something. Inside of the case is soft as well, so it won't scratch the light up if you are carrying it around in that. You just clip that back down. Um, it does have a lockout mode as well, just like the other lights. So this one here in lockout mode, when you press the button, little red indicator comes on on the side here. This is one you definitely want to try to use that lockout mode in because if for some reason you happen to activate those 3200 lumens, this thing gets hot extremely fast and it will burn. Um, let's see. So color wise, obviously, this is the black version, um, and it does have, before I forget to show you, so it does have this textured, like rubberized grip on the side here. It's kind of cut for the finger grooves. Kind of like a non-slip. It's nice. Um, color wise, you can get it in black. They have a blue version, a mint green. They have it in orange, carbon fiber, and I just seen the other day, they did make it in desert tan, so you know I definitely want to try to get my hands on that one. Um, right now, blacks the black and mint green are the ones you can buy on Olight's website. You can find the blue and the orange one. If you look around, the carbon fiber is hard to find, but I did find one on Amazon as well. Price-wise, you're looking at uh, $139.95 for your base price, up to $164.75. Uh, for some of the the more rare versions so like the carbon fiber might be up in that range and then again um, Looking at sky band trade. He had one for 164 21 They came with two of those massive 21 700 batteries and then the battery case obviously that he provides so that is the Olight seeker 2 pro and We'll get outside here. We'll show you what it looks like at night and we'll be right back with you this is going to be the outside light to show you the light, how the light works on the Seeker 2, how bright it is for the different levels. Uh, so the first level here is moonlight. This is five lumens and you can kind of see it there. Not very bright, but that'll run for 12 days. Next stage is going to be 50 lumens. So you can really kind of start seeing things here and that will run for 52 hours. Next one is 300 lumens. It's gonna run for nine and a half hours. You can really start seeing there. This is the same as the i5T in this case. And then we're gonna jump up again. This is 1200 lumens. This will run for 110 minutes. Step down to 600 lumens for 30 minutes. So now you're over the S2R2 at that 1150 for it. And then a double tap and you get the full 3200 lumens. As you can see, you can see about everything you want to. Uh, this will run for two minutes and then drop down to 600 lumens for 150 minutes. Alright guys, that's all I got for you for the outside view. We'll see you back inside. Alright guys, so there you have it. That is the uh, the overview of the Seeker 2 Pro. I got the other lights lined up here. So the S2R2, the i3T, and the i5T just for comparison on the size there. Uh, you've seen how the light output was outside. Uh, definitely a long distance light there, especially compared to the, the S2R2. Alright guys, that's all I got for you here today for the Seeker 2 Pro from Olight. Uh, definitely if you like the content, give me a like, a comment down in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button if you want to see the videos we have coming up here. I got a few more coming out for you. Alright guys, later.